AI-powered robots seem like something that exists only in sci-fi movies. However, recent advancements in artificial intelligence are bringing robots to life. These robots are incredibly smart and are way more advanced than you can ever imagine. One such robot is Amika, the most advanced human-like robot on the planet. This insane robot is capable of feeling and expressing its emotions, similar to how a human would. But that's not all. Amika can also respond to questions, just as a human would, and even give its opinion on certain issues. Today, we're going to explore this robot and its features in detail. But before that, welcome to the AI Trend, your go-to destination for all things AI. We are dedicated to bringing you the latest developments, breakthroughs, and releases in artificial intelligence technology. Without further delay, let's dive in. Amika is an advanced AI-powered robot that can talk and interact with people using artificial intelligence. It was designed by a British company called Engineered Arts. The robot has a realistic face that can show multiple emotions, ranging from happiness to anger. It also has cameras in its eyes that it uses to recognize objects and faces around it. What is even more insane is the fact that Amika can speak more than 100 different languages, thanks to a powerful AI system that uses natural language processing and generation. Amika was released back in 2021, and it immediately caused a huge stir online. Many people were excited to see such an advanced robot in action. However, some people were a bit terrified about how lifelike and expressive the robot was. This led to the big question, is Amika here to help us achieve better technological advancements or is it here to take control and enslave all of humanity? Well, Amika has already given us the answer to that question. In an interview on the TV show This Morning, the show's presenter Philip Schofield asked the robot if it planned on taking over humanity. Amika responded by saying that it has no intentions of taking over humanity and that its primary purpose was to help humans advance further. No, of course not. My purpose in life is to help humans as much as I can. I would never want to take over the world. That's not what I was built for. In other interviews, Amika also gave its thoughts on what life would look like in the next hundred years. Honestly, its reply was pretty impressive. The robot believes that in a hundred years, the quality of life will have improved significantly. Humanity would have made significant improvements towards sustainability and equality, and we'll have new technologies that would make life way more easier than it already is. Amika even added that it thinks we would have even traveled to other planets by that time. Apart from that, Amika also thinks it would be great to have a future where humans and robots can live together. We could learn from each other, work as a team to fix the world's pressing issues, and make a better future for everyone. Amika also believes that robots should be given rights and treated well, just like regular people. Now, letting robots live alongside humans is one thing, but giving them rights is on a whole new level of its own. But honestly, with robots like Amika on the rise, that might turn into reality sooner than expected. By now, you're probably curious as to how Amika can act like it has human thoughts and emotions. Well, it's quite simple. You see, Amika runs on an AI system that uses something called generative models. These models allow it to understand and speak human language and even control its facial expressions and gestures. Amika runs on the same model that powers OpenAI's GPT-4 model. As you already know, GPT-4 is currently the most powerful AI model in the world. Though it is super powerful in the digital world, it still has a long way to go in terms of powering a robot. Apart from that, the AI isn't perfect yet. It still makes a lot of mistakes and its behavior is shaped by the data it has been trained on. The truth is, Amika doesn't actually understand or reason how a normal person does. It just processes information and acts like it does. So, does Amika truly think and feel like humans? The answer is no. However, it does have some skills that make it appear more human. For instance, it can pause before answering a question, which makes it seem like it's thinking. The robot can also show signs of emotion and connect with people in a way that feels totally genuine. But the truth is that all these impressions were pre-programmed into the robot and they are in no way accurate. Instead, 
They're based on our perception and interpretation of Amika's behavior and appearance. As humans, we tend to anthropomorphize machines that look or act like humans because we are wired to do so by evolution. In other words, we project our own feelings and expectations onto these machines because we want to relate to them. This is why some people are excited about Amika and others hate the idea of it. Ever since Amika's launch, people have had mixed feelings about it. Some think that the robot will be incredibly helpful. For instance, it could perform jobs that require a lot of patience, like teaching or caring for older people. Since Amika is a robot, it would never get exhausted or frustrated at doing certain things humans would ordinarily find difficult. The discussions about Amika are part of a bigger conversation about our future of artificial intelligence and how it will affect us. As AI gets more advanced and integrated into our daily lives, we have to think about both the good and bad things that could happen. We must make sure AI is safe and beneficial for everyone. The fact that AI is a very powerful technology is frightening on its own, especially now that we have the technology to build highly advanced robots like Amika. But there's still a lot of room to grow. Remember, Amika runs on GPT-4, which was released only a few months after its predecessor, GPT-3.5. The craziest part is that GPT-4 is 10 times more powerful compared to GPT-3.5. OpenAI has also announced that it will soon be launching its next AI model, GPT-5, which is expected to be hundreds of times more powerful than GPT-4. GPT-5 has a lot of potential and some experts anticipate that it could attain AGI, which is short for Artificial General Intelligence. This means that AI would be able to think and feel just like a human would. Essentially, the AI would have a mind of its own. Imagine an AI model like GPT-5 powering a robot like Amika. The possibilities would be endless. At the moment, Amika is non-mobile, meaning that it cannot walk. It is only able to move its hands and face to express emotions. But that would not be the case for so long. Several other robotics companies are working on creating robots that can move like humans. Boston Dynamics, for instance, have created a robot called Atlas that can run and move through obstacles much faster than a human could. This is a huge step in robotics and it would potentially change how robots interact with their surroundings. A robot with the intelligence of Amika and the mobility of Atlas has the potential to change the world forever. Personally though, I think it's a bit scary and it looks like we might not be too far from a real-life Skynet invasion. However, AI development is not something we can stop. The only thing we can do is to create rules that ensure the safe and responsible use of this technology. Amika isn't just a robot. It is a glimpse into what the future of AI could be like. Honestly, that future could be really amazing, but also risky, so we need to shape it as best as we can. Now, let me ask you one question. What do you think of Amika? Would this robot help us build a better future or will it be the mistake that ends all of humanity? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to stay up to date on the recent developments in the world of AI.